Brothers and sisters, friends and comrades, I'm Cuba Libre. Welcome back to Deus Ex 3 Hardcore. I think it's disgusting how public opinion has turned on David. Me too, lady. All right. So we're gonna go talk to the boss. Our two bosses, like the little corporate bitch we are. Well, well. If it isn't Attila the Hun, fresh from the killing fields. If this is about the time <laughs> I'll get to it in a minute. Now, Pritchard. I didn't risk my neck to have you lose it in a pile of CPUs and scuzzy adapters. Well, look at you, using the big words. Don't think just because you hacked through the plant security system so fast that you're an expert on everything computer. There's a reason I can't examine the Typhoon yet. Do tell. For your information, I am running a diagnostic sweep on our network and router security to find out how Sanders Hacker got a hold of our codes. I'd have thought the first question to ask is, whose codes were they? Unless you already know. Stick to kicking down doors and shooting people, Jensen, and stop trying to do my job. I am pretty good at that. I guarantee you we'll get along better that way. Okay. Don't you have somewhere to be, Jensen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure Sarah can. Now let's go talk to, talk to Big Boss. What do you think they talk about? David and you, Daryl? Bill Gates and Steve Jobs talk about. What? I bet he's trying to convince him to come out of hiding and make a statement that will count right. Just make Bill Gates and Steve Jobs reference. Oh. It's jarring the way that this game is supposed to take place in our own world. <laughs> I'm telling you, Hugh, he might not have put the gun in Sanders' hand, but it was Taggart's speech to the UN that started all this. William Taggart is nothing if not a shrewd political operator. You know that, David. So for the sake of appearances, I have to look him in the eye and let him bullshit me? With a smile. Always with a smile. We'll talk later. to see me yeah how you feeling I've had better days well when we're done here check him at dr. Markovic at the limb clinic downtown can't hurt to get a checkup if you insist listen about Sanders yeah about Sanders what the hell were you thinking you Let killed literally like everyone that? else in the plant I said she there to take care of things. why not him What am I doing? Being an asshole. You asked me to deal with the situation, and that's what I did. I see. I'm also starting to see why your superiors in the police force decided to blame you for the Mexican town riots. Christ, Adam. I thought you were ready for this. I am. Today's attack was just a shell game being run by somebody else. I intend to find out who and why, so that it never happens to anybody again. Good, because so do I. That hacker in Sanders' group, you're sure he was augmented? I pulled his cables out myself. Yeah, well, the police are saying he's not, and they're refusing to let me see the body, no matter how much money I threaten to pull from their retirement fund. <laughs> well, maybe they didn't like being held off so long at the plant. Is that my head of security speaking? Or and it's literally like the opposite Listen, Adam, attack I just I don't want to squabble about this. I need you to get to the bottom of it. Just being a dick in any way possible. Force. You think, uh... You think one of them will let you into the morgue? Depends who I run into. Get over to the station and find a way inside. Because if that hacker was augmented, his neural hub might tell us who he was. Contact me when you've gotten a hold of it. Well, I'm not gonna argue with him about doing something you illegal. Obviously. That hacker's not going to be sitting still for long. There's a newspaper. There's something in here, is there? I don't think so. Oh. 
Okay, back down the elevator. Time to spend our practice points. So everything costs one point, one to open the tree, but opening the tree costs two points. So with the three points I have, I can get these, f open the tree for the first level and then get the second level of dermal armor, which is going to be very important. Oh, those in this handy. My office is right upstairs. This is my office. What's up? Jensen, remember me? No, no, Anyone got look at Yeah, a little late to be practicing. I'm like standing right in front of you. Hey, Jensen. Man, it's good to see you. I'm glad you're back. How are you holding up? I manage. I'm sorry about Megan. I know it must be hard. For a while, we thought you were a goner, too. Everything's going to shit. The attack on HQ, and now this mess with the factory. Yeah. Tough times all around. <coughs> How about you, Corella? You okay? I don't know. I... Uh, I fucked up. I mean bad. What happened? Well, a couple of months ago, me Look and Tim, you know, one of Pritchard's techs, we started sneaking you out some neuropathy from one of the labs. Jesus, Tim. You realize this could get you fired. Worse, arrested if the company chooses to prosecute. I'm pretty sure in what this world, thinking? fired no, is worse than it's arrested. Just, it's complicated. I didn't want to do it at first, but there were good reasons. Anyway, now I want out, but Tyndall has security footage of me stealing the stuff and says he'll expose me if I ever stop helping him. I'm in a bad spot, Adam. I need that footage back. I know you're busy with everything that's going on right now, but I could really use your help. <clears throat> How about Tyndall? Can't you reason with him? You could try, but Tyndall's a pretty driven guy. I mean, the guy's like a rock. You'd need a Casey Og or something to crack him. Casey? Social enhancer. It's an augmentation designed to read people's reactions and behavioral patterns. Higher end series even allows you to directly influence Tutorials. people with pheromones or something. That's an AUG you can buy to win the conversation bosses. Pretty ballsy stealing a patented drug from a secure lab. How'd you manage to do it? Both Tyndall and I worked the night shift every other week. I stashed the neuropocene in a bag while he edited the security footage. Guess he kept part of it. Neuropocene? What could you guys want with an anti-rejection drug for augmentation patients? Reselling it? He won't even look at it. Providing a competitor? Why do you automatically assume I was trying to turn a profit? Okay, so what were you doing? No follow-up. No follow-up. What is it exactly you need me to do? I need you to get back that security footage Tyndall has on me. It's probably in his apartment. On his computer, maybe. So what? I just look him up in the phone book. His apartment is near Brooklyn Court. It might be tough to get in because his building has a large security gate protecting it. Well, that's just great. Hacking the security gate is possible, but would require advanced hacking skills. You might have to look around for an alternate path. Maybe use the fire escape or something. Uh, this is just giving it to you. And I should care about this because... Damn, Adam. Are you really going to shake me down like this? That's Adam cold. Jensen does not work for I'm free. I'm here. Look, I may be able to get my hands on a weapon mod You're for You're damn right you will. Jeez, I never thought I'd have to buy your help. All right. All right. Tell me more. Really? Wow. Thanks, Adam. I thought I was done for. The security footage will probably be on his apartment computer. Meet me in front of the subway station parking lot once you get a hold of it. I got it from here. <sighs> So, the first time I played this, what? Give me a break. I, uh, actually pumped up my hacking first, and I was going around to everyone's office, hacking in, reading their emails, and I constructed this whole neuropazine stealing operation out of the emails, and I felt really awesome and amazing investigative 
journalist, and then uh, it turns out you go to the story quest and it just like gives it straight to you. This guy just comes and tells you everything. That was a good feeling. It's kind of set the tone for the whole rest of the game. Anyways. And also, Athena sends you door codes so you can start going to everyone's offices. Yay, I'm the security chief. I have a security hub. I do think it's amusing that every single security hub in the world has the same background, so you know it's a security hub, and every single regular computer has this background. So you know it's a regular computer. But anyways, rather than use the codes, most of these keypads are level 2. So when I get level 2 hacking, I'm going to come back here and hack everything open and uh, go crazy up in this. Hey look, a beer. I'm not going to sit here and watch the whole TV program. Uh. What is this, you say? Well, this is where they were keeping the neuropazine. See, there it is. How do you? How do I know that? Well, you can tell from that pocket secretary. Uh, and that's just another way out to the helipad. All right. So we are out of here for now. Oh, I need to drink that beer I got. I don't. I don't think there's anything down here. So screw it. I'll come back when I get hacking level 2. In the meantime, let's walk the streets. Let's get some more quests that we can solve. Mrs. Reed? Adam.